going on? This is Disco Doggy. Uh, I am eagerly awaiting the uh, FA Cup match between Arsenal and uh, Burnley. So I'm only going to keep it uh, short. I'm going to keep it short here with uh, Disco's three. And, you know, I realized uh, my, my, I've said this before, but my 10 plus wins is sort of like a, a closet. I just put teams in here. And then sometimes I forget about them. Look at all these teams in here that I can can play. I don't really have a lot of new teams that I'm I'm really proud of right now. I've been screwing around with a, some anti rabbit pets. Still in love with my uh, prairie mouse. I even stoop so low as to make a a, a Rick team to beat some uh, rabbits. I don't know. Apparently I'm insane because I choose two undead pets to beat rabbits. That makes no sense, but that's somehow what I did but anyways I wanted to go back to uh, some of these teams um, let's play Slitherbolt sounds fun uh, I hope you like the new intro music and background if you even notice that I, I don't know how close people pay attention but every 10 battles I change up the intro music and the, the, the intro background You know, someone mentioned that I should start playing music in the background, and I really like that idea. And I, uh, I think I'm gonna look into that. But, um, I didn't really have time this morning. But I'm kind of afraid of that too, because, you know, what if? Well, people just don't like the music that I'm playing. I don't want. I don't want to make people, uh, you know, suffer through suffer through music they don't like, you know. Uh, Alright, well. well. I don't know, I don't know why I started with the MPD knowing that there's an FOA right there. Maybe I should uh, not talk about the music I'm going to play and talk about uh, <laughs> the battle. See, almost always I start with the Slivershock Elver with this, with this team. Um, because I like to do that, I like to put my uh, I like to put my uh, pump up, get pump going. Hey, that's fine. You just wasted your move too, buddy. And I'm going to get rid of this guy now. Come in with here. Not going too well for me, I'd say. But, you know, I'd, you can always say it could be worse. Uh... Alright, no stuns, that's always good. Give me some uh, some healing. Not of the Marvin Gaye variety, the uh, the pet battle variety. Um, oh, well, that kind of sucked. But, what we shall do here is we will... Hmm. Just going to do that. And that, and... Oh, wait, I still have this going, right? Oh, that doesn't really help me much. Because I have to deal with two turns from this guy. I could just ramp up my deep... Oh, that's not gonna... That's not gonna kill him. Oh, I got lucky there. Jesus Christ, that was a bad move. Overthought it. I was thinking, you know, like... Oh, I want to ramp up my deep bite. And, well, it wasn't ramped up yet, so it was going to do 154 plus whatever 25 percent of that is luckily i crit god damn it starting off with some bad play now this guy's magic am i going to be able to probably not so let's uh get some some of this action going. I don't want to get frog kissed. It's okay. Jeez. Can't believe I made that mistake. I hate making mistakes. I hate making mistakes when I make a video. It's bad enough when you just like make a mistake, but now I made a mistake for everyone to see. Well, I think I'm okay. Unless that happens, so. 
He didn't try to chain it. I th now I think I'm really okay. So... Yeah, let's do this because I got that guy coming in weak. I'm a, actually I'm not okay because I can there's a uh, there's a coin toss that I need to win here. Ugh. Here's where the Elver with Deep Bite can be uh, problematic. My only hope is that four fifteen. I'm okay. All right. Whew. Dodged a bullet there. I had to get lucky in the end. I had to win the coin toss against the uh, against the tree frog, and I got lucky with a very bad move. Um, what was my bad move in case you didn't catch that well I started thinking about what is the best way to handle the um, the undead racial of the uh, fragment of anger and so I was thinking well I could I could bash it I'm sorry I could clobber it and then take it out that way um, that, that would have been the best thing to do. Clobber. Oops, I just hit my microphone. I hope that wasn't too loud. Um, clobber, and then I don't know what my deep bite was ramped up to. I don't think it was ramped up at all, so I would have had the clobber, pump, and then I, I, the pump would have killed, and then I could have recharged my pump. Um, but I was getting greedy, and I was thinking, oh, you know what? I'm going to use this opportunity. Well, I, I shouldn't even say getting greedy. I, it, it was kind of good that I was thinking about it. I was thinking I want to, um, you know, use this opportunity to ramp up my my uh, deep bite, and um, the problem with that is the FOA had what was it, 270 something health, and even with cleansing rain, the first attack um, isn't gonna be very high. It wouldn't have been high enough to kill the FOA. So I got lucky there. I made a bad move and got lucky with a crit. So. <sighs> Sucks. Alright. Well, it was requested. Now I'm afraid because I'm obviously playing bad. I'm afraid to play this team. But it was requested that I play um, Done Did Kid by Dave X on the blog and like I said, I'm a, I have like such an unbelievable record. If you don't believe me, I don't blame you. I have an unbelievable record with this this team. So every time I play this team, I'm like, oh, I get scared because I, I, I mean, who would who would have thought I would end up with a 84 and one record with an imp? See, I'm I'm like stressed out now. I'm like, oh, what do I do? What do I do? What do I stick to the plan and not think about it too much. Now, the, the one thing that worries me about this is if he has liftoff. I'm taking a chance in doing this. Okay, there we go. Because if you don't get this initial haunt in, I don't want to say you're on big trouble, but uh, it definitely throws a wrench into your plans. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cast Immolation, and then he's going to hit me with a big nocturnal strike here. But that's okay. Oh, that hurt. Um, because I'm going to get some backline healing in. 
nine rounds of it so that is good and then I'm gonna bring this basilisk in damn so let's hope that he tries to put up a prowl no he's not gonna do it and 293 damn it Keep the healing going, Imp. We want to be able to take at least a couple um, spirit beams, magic beams, whatever they're called. Okay. Goodbye, Bloodbeak. How many will I be able to take with this guy? Do I take a chance? Do I, do I get greedy here and... I think he's gonna use Spirit Fire Beam. I could. I could just go for the damage. I'm hitting at 175 a pop. Um. Because if I feign, then I'm going to have to worry about that next Spirit Fire Beam coming. So I don't know if that was a good idea or not. When's my next Crystal Prism? Here's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to Ethereal this. And then I'm going to Haunt. And then when I come back, and my Crystal Prism will be ready to go. And now I can face this guy. Because, see, I needed to bring him back in because of that spirit fire beam right there. Oh, so stressful. Okay, this guy is done. So is my basilisk. But now I have to take out Brightpaw with my imp and... My, uh, I think what I have like a thousand health on my kid. Oh, actually, you know what? Let's see. Still not a gimme, because, you know, I could, I could get stunned here. Close battle, close battle. <sighs> That's about the most like stressed out you're ever gonna see me. <laughs> Eighty-five and one. Jeez, and, and and you know what? Is 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 unbelievable and as stellar as that is. I keep thinking back to the team that beat me, and I don't even remember exactly what it was. But I, I believe there was a there was a, a, a fire spirit on the team. Oh no no no! It was a molten corgi. Okay, maybe I don't remember, but um, I, it was a team that like I would think wouldn't beat me. But that's how you play that team. Again, no, there wasn't the graves there. So um, if you're in a meta where it's still all graves all the time. Not gonna have that as, as good a record, and frankly, I've admitted multiple times that this has been an extremely lucky team. Uh, yeah, I've won a lot of coin tosses against other 260 speed pets with the Ghastly Kid. Um, I've had some some timely crits. I've had some bad play from opponents winning some battles that I shouldn't have won. So, if I had to do it all over and I had to say, play 86 more battles, I might even say like 75 and 11 or something like that. I don't know. I mean, it's hard to say, but this is my my 
my precious at the moment. <laughs> Every time I play it, I'm scared. And and this team, someone else plays this team. Not all the time, but um, when I face it, it it like destroys me usually. Okay, so it destroys me. It is a good team. Um, but again, if if you're if you're like facing graves and wee bombs all the time, it's gonna be it's gonna be hard to hard to play against a. A really good player. Okay, so that's my second battle. I'm I'm uh, two and zero. Oh, even though that first battle was a was a fail win. Um, let's do this. Do I want to play a new team? I had such high hopes for this team. It's interesting, you know. You put to, put together a team. And I think it's going to be good. And it's not I don't know it's not that interesting okay I was gonna say something else but I lost my train of thought uh, uh, sure we'll go back to here pick something that has a lot of wins um, what's what pet was I just talking about you know what let's go back I think I have another basilisk team in here somewhere that I was playing mousy fakers 80% win rate that's pretty good I could play that. That's just like such a boring team to play. It's good though. I hate I hate that cleave team more than an actual wee bomb cleave team when I play it because you know you put cleansing rain up and then get some dread PP dreadful breath action going. I don't like playing the 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 droplet teams. Oh my god, I got seven minutes. It's okay. Uh, <clears throat> Back to my early right. Come on, jerk. Uh, my Mandarin slowly uh, plodding along. I've been listening to a lot of Mandarin music, and and it's not helping me as nearly as much as I thought. I, I just don't have any like strong basis. Like, like I don't, I don't have the fundamentals. Like, I've never taken a class. Like, I, I listened to a lot of Spanish music after I had already, like, taken three years of Spanish in high school, and it like helped me a lot, it helped me like learn new words and stuff. But I just don't have the background. But still cool to listen to music that I thought I would never, ever listen to. But anyways. Pet battles. You saw the scalded basilisk catchling in the last battle. Um, you gotta be careful with it. You gotta be really, really careful with it. I hate to call pets like new pets and pro pets, but basilisk is something that is not. It's not easy to play. Mm. Actually, you know what? If you're faster, it's pretty easy to play, but. You, you, you just need to be careful with it. I guess that's what I'm saying. I mean, you, you have to play a lot of head games with, with Feign Death, Crystal Prison. Is that it? Is that is that what I'm saying? Is that what makes a pet pro? If you have a, if you have to play with a Feign Death and <laughs> if you have to play pe head games, I mean. Um, I don't know. It's not a very good def definition of pro. I think it was the last video I was making. You, you saw, like... I don't even remember the context, but I remember like, oh yeah, I'm so good, I won this battle. But really, I just made a fu uh, a couple of few timely guesses, you know, and it's basically like a 50-50 chance. Is my opponent going to do this or is my opponent going to do that? And I chose the right one, and I look, wow, really good. But I don't know. I don't know how much skill is there really in pet battling. I mean, m most of not most of, but maybe half. I've discussed this before. I mean, a lot of pet battles is just understanding all the moves, understanding what moves your op opponent can have, what strategies they might do, understanding the meta, making your team. I was trying to say making your team. Team creation is probably the the the. I don't want to say the biggest because you got to play, but let's let's, let's say fifty fifty. It's half play half team creation um a good example of that is you know I'm, I'm i'm a pretty good player i play this a lot you know i mean i'm a, i'm a, you can at least say i'm experienced 
where did that team go? Um, I haven't done much league battles, many league battles lately, but um, this team, what's happening, you can see it does fine in my queue, 32 and 7, not great, but fine. Um, I mean, I have a losing record in the, in the league against uh, other people, because it's not against other people in the league, it's because it's not a very well created team. Um, I was just like, hey, Spirit Crab, Robo Chip, sure, why not? Let's throw in the rabbit to be the be the, the tear pet on there. What the hell, man? Someone else decline. Um, I got three minutes. <laughs> uh, I guess my point and all that, what I was saying is, I didn't take a lot of time to create my team and I'm paying for it now I didn't think about well what what might I be facing you know and and that's a great example of understanding like the meta because there's not a lot of undead pets and, and like why are critters so good because there's so many undead pets in the league there's not a lot of undead pets so this rabbit goes from being like super good to just okay and then on the to take it in the other direction there's lots of flyers in the league which makes the rabbit much less effective so okay here's this team again and I'm gonna start off with the kid again I kind of wanted to start off with um, the mouse oh god I r I'm really like expecting this guy to prowl that's why I haven't been doing uh... well anyways I'm expecting him to prowl so now I'm not gonna crystal prison because I want to wait till the prowl comes if it's ever gonna come maybe that's what he's waiting for too okay it's pretty smart pretty smart not to use your prowl when I can just crystal prison or feign out of it good player good good job using your bright paw I, I, I appreciate people playing well and look at that, his bright paw, not known for being like a really great pet, took out half of that and half of that. So, props to you, my friend. Does anyone say that? Does anyone say props anymore? I don't know. Oh. Disco doggy. Crit master. <laughs> of course, I'm being facetious, but really, I've kind of been lucky with it. Ugh, ugh. Why do you want to do me like that, man? They had me in a bind there with the Basilisk. I was just saying, you gotta play well with the Basilisk. And, well, I didn't, so... Uh, I'll go ahead and bring my mouse in. Take some weak damage here. So here's what I would like to happen. I would like to get my DOT up on this guy. And then when he does his, uh, you know, rain dance, nocturnal strike thing, I'm going to bring in, oh, now I'm in a bind because... I, I really want the I really want the kid there to, to, to eat the damage. Okay, I think I'm good now. This is where undead pets shine. I don't care how much damage you're gonna give me, bro. I'm undead. You're gonna do to me. Ooh. Now let's take him below the racial even with this. Very important that that happens. And I am in good shape. 
So basically, I get two flurries for free after this. I'm like, the Basilisk is so hard to play. You need to play so pro. And then I just go and don't even think about it and win. <laughs> okay. Wipe forehead. Tough battles today. Jesus. Um, <sighs> yeah, I don't know if today is a day that I'm proud of, but I did do my Discos 3, and it's only two minutes into the FA Cup. So I think I'm going to call it quits. But yeah, self-admittedly, I made a mistake on that first battle. Pretty big one. A crit bailed me out. That last battle, uh, I got a lot of crits. I don't know. I don't know what I, I don't know if I'd have won without all those crits. So, uh, yeah, Disco Doggy, luck master. Next time, next time, uh, I'm raging because of, uh, how bad the, my luck is, I'll have to remember a day like today. Okay, I'm out. Have a good one.